All right, now an inside look at antibody testing, which could play a key role in reopening the country. The tests are now available at Hartford HealthCare Go Health Urgent Care Centers. Joining us now live is Dr. Eric Walsh, Medical Director of Hartford HealthCare Go Health Urgent Care. Doctor, welcome. We appreciate you joining us. Great to be with you. So first, explain to us how this test works. Well, um, going through the whole process, um, you can go to our website, actually reserve a spot in one of our centers. Uh, you come in, you get vitals done. We, need to, we want to know if you have a fever or not uh, for sure. Um, you'll have an evaluation by a provider. Blood is drawn, um, and that is sent off to Quest Labs where it is processed. And a test that has very good sensitivity and specificity, um, and uh, within 24 to 72 hours, you'll get results as to whether or not you have the IgG antibodies to coronavirus. Doctor, we've heard all the horror stories about COVID-19. Certainly the death toll speaks for itself. That said, the new research suggests that most people who get COVID-19 are asymptomatic. So to that point, you could test positive for the antibodies, but really never have gotten sick, right? Absolutely. Um, I, that is the conundrum of this um, pandemic, is that there are many people who will have had this and never had a symptom, which is partly why it's so dangerous, um, and so they can develop antibodies um, without ever having a cough or a fever. Doctor, explain to us why testing like this is so critical as we look to reopen things. Testing in general is going to be very important. So there are two tests that we offer here. One of them is a PCR test, which is um, a nasal swab. And that one says whether or not you have the virus right now. Um, and that one is really important because if you have the virus, you need to remain quarantined and not go around anyone else. Uh, and that's going to be important when we go to reopen because, it, you know, if you, have, if you are someone managing an office building um, and you have a business there, you're going to want to know that people coming in are not acutely ill. Um, so if they have any symptoms, they may need to go get that test done before they come back to work. The antibody test um, is a little different. It speaks to a longer term strategy um, uh, around herd immunity. And what we would, in an ideal situation, and once we have more information, um, knowing that people have antibodies, and, and, and once we know how long um, the antibodies uh, in terms of immunity will last, right now we don't even know if the antibodies uh, confer immunity, but once we know that and whether and how long it lasts, if it does confer immunity, this will help us a lot because if someone's immune, um, it, they, it's difficult for them to be a carrier, and we'll learn about that, I'm sure, in, in the next few months, um, and so they would be able to go back into, into society. The challenge we have right now is that we don't know if, the, if, what, if you have antibodies, uh, if you have immunity, how much immunity, and if you have that immunity, how long it lasts. So um, right now, for most people, this is a peace of mind kind of play, which is important. This has been a, me a mentally taxing uh, pandemic. Uh, knowing that you had or didn't have it uh, is helpful, and that if you have the antibodies, it's, it's likely that you have some immunity, at least some immunity. If you were to get it again, it would be less than the first time. Um, and so there's some peace of mind that can come with getting a test. Yeah, mentally taxing indeed for all of us, Doctor. We appreciate all you're doing. Dr. Eric Walsh, Medical Director, Hartford HealthCare's Go Health Urgent Care Program. Stay safe and again. And we appreciate all you and the medical community are doing to keep us safe. Thank you so much. Thank you.